my question is, is like how do we want to go about this? Like I was thinking maybe we kind of make the list of the types of things we want to grow, and then from there we can figure out how to fill it in. Does that make sense? Yes, but are you referring to everything we want to no, grow? No, everything that we want to grow this year. Okay. And like then as we research, we may realize we have to swap stuff out. Because what I'm thinking if you scroll up, yes, is that that right there is going to be right next to a path. So what we want there is stuff that's not going to get quite as bushy and overflowing space. But we don't really know what our list is to draw from of that type of thing. So lettuce, spinach. I think the so what else do people want? I mean, we got lots of space here. Well, I, mean, I don't know which one's on. I'm just asking. Let's just, so let's do like right now, like, let's not limit ourselves before we've done the research, if that makes sense. So if we look and we, it's too late, then it's too late. That's fine. Watermelon. So, we took so much space in the water. We're going to do watermelon out of the bed. Just plant them next to the beds. Right. The kids will eat a watermelon in a day. Yay! Well, listen! I don't need that. Besides, if we have enough watermelon vines, it'll just help fill up the grass. Watermelons are annual, so if you want to try that this year. It just takes up a lot of space. I don't know. I think you can. I think you have a room that we're not putting in. No, we can't. Uh, we're back to tomatoes. We're focusing on the tomatoes. We need right tomatoes. Now. We can't plant um, tomatoes. Tomatoes are difficult. We need to break down. I mean, we can. Ideally, I'd like to be sure to stuff from seed, but it's going to be too late to do anything from seed. So we have to buy like plants, which then means you're like dealing with less quality. But I mean, just for this year, I suppose we could. So, Look around. Are you put like tomatoes on the Hey, you also missed that. I think it's my birthday. We're deciding not to do potatoes uh, because we want a deeper bag, right? What? We're deciding not to do potatoes because we want a deeper bag. Well, we ended up with a deeper bag than I planned. We could try. If you want. You could do like, um, what in your freezer. Carrots might be a good one. Purple carrots. Let's do it in the, um, the yeah. highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you want to eat some purple so, carrots? Because you said you like, 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 Write down carrots Ooh, and potatoes. Yes, carrots. Yeah, we can do rainbow okay. carrots. We can find them. Go ahead. Go ahead. We need to write down garlic, and then garlic doesn't yeah, get planted until no, right okay. before like, the freeze. Do we want to do any onions? Yes, sweet onions. Write down onions. Those are good for like the garden, too. Write down marigolds. I don't really want to do them, but just... Do marigolds slash um, just beneficial plants. We need to do
naked? You can't Alright, um, maybe someday when we live somewhere else and mommy wants to slaughter our face. Hi guys. Oh, hi Pippin. Asher wants a jellyfish. Oh, yeah, hey, Pippin. Pippin likes cilantro. Oh, hey mom, cilantro attracts ladybugs. Perfect. Pippin likes cilantro. Cilantro, fennel, caraway, yarrow, grass, and yarrow. Pippin, fennel. Write it down. Asparagus. If it's too late, then it's too late. Asparagus is a perennial, so we're going to try to avoid those. Wait, really? Yes. There we go. We're back, huh? It's like a big fucking burger. Do we want to, it might be too late for peppers, but do we want to put peppers on? I think we want to do bell, like, bell peppers. I'm going to turn off the bell peppers. I'm going to turn off the bell peppers. Grow hot chili peppers that we can chop up and make a spray for our flowers so that the deer won't eat the flowers. I don't want to put chili pepper on my flowers. So I'm thinking that of the list that we came up with, that probably the two things that are going to like least like okay. get into a pathway are spinach and carrots, possibly lettuce, depending on what kind of lettuce we did. Yeah, I think it depends on how much it is. Cassie. Yeah. For now. Um, and app one, put um, onions. Just for now. And then we can move this around later. And then we may need to see if we can go next to each other and that sort of thing, too. Um, and app two, put um, carrots. And then app three, put spinach. Why? Oh, because those are the ones. Is this the box that's closer to the path? Correct. That's the one that's going to be right next to the path. You should just do rows of each of those. I mean, we could do three, three of each. Yeah. I don't want to do like several types. Like, I don't want to do like yeah. six types of plants. I mean, we may want to for companion planting purposes, but for now, we're going to do like six types of plants. I mean, we may want to for companion planting purposes, but for now. Yeah, I might be easier now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go to our other empty box for now. And just get in what we want to try. And then we can move it around later. So... Well, we have two people here that can't read, so I'm making it kid-friendly. Can you go back to that control? So I can see our list. Thanks. Helpful. Um, oh, so we need to put our cucumbers against the back here, because they'll have to climb something. Uh, where in the back? Um, let's put them in, let's see, where's two, I'd say D, E, and F. Put cucumbers for now. And then if we're going to do potatoes, potatoes get pretty big and leafy. So they would shade out stuff behind them. So I'm yeah, thinking potatoes. No, I was just literally doing the same thing. I think potatoes would be, yeah, those three maybe. Mm -hmm. And again, like we can change this if we do our research and realize, hey, it's really good to grow this if you're growing that. Or don't, whatever you do, don't grow your onion sex to, you know, then we can move stuff around. This is mostly just to get stuff on there. We don't have any lettuce down yet, do we? So let's get some lettuce in the front of this box. Should we do a lot of lettuce? Well, what about spinach? We use spinach. We have spinach. Yeah. Yeah, it's on our number one box. Generally, grow like four kinds of lettuce per square foot. Really? We're gonna try. Actually, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna try a high density lettuce growing. Lettuce. Growing a lot more. Do six rows across the front with lettuce. We can do an experiment. We'll try uh, some with like the square foot gardening method and some with the Pippin, saddle! And some with like the high density idea. Let's see which does better. Yeah, exactly. That's the one I watched. Oh. That lettuce kind of looks like a pumpkin. It's a salad. See, so he grows a big burrow like that, and then he's mostly harvesting leaves until the very end. I was going to put that next to spinach. 
spinach. And because you're harvesting leaves rather than whole heads, I you get a ton more production out of it. So when you're stop recording the square garden, will you stop by this and right. see which one is kind of better? So what else, Dakota, can you go back to our list so I can kind of look at it and see what we might be missing? We've got lettuce, okay, I'm going to go well with lettuce. Okay. Uh, we have carrots, but are they like garlic? Are the they garlic, like I don't think we need to actually have on here right uh, now. Okay. I think we'll just like clear out the lettuce and put the garlic in or something like that. But I don't think we need it to have it spot spots for that it. don't now. have anything in them during the winter. Take a look! Oh, yeah, you put it in late. Yeah. Right. Seven to nine, take it late October into November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that lettuce will go. If we get the right kind, that lettuce will go late November, December, possibly here. But some of these will not. Right. Um, what are we, those are potatoes. Um, put a pepper, at least one pepper square, in like F2, Cassie. Yeah. What else have we got there? Ooh, broccoli. Put a broccoli. And A2 and cauliflower and B2. Oh, it's my birthday. <laughs> Alright, what else are we missing? Let's roll that one. Oh, it says cauliflower. You can count everything pretty much, right? It's only how much you can fit. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> do, yeah, do cauliflower there and then in C2 do broccoli again. Why are we all doing it? It's just for level. Cool. Okay. I assume. And then. Uh, and D and E, are we going to do, oh, put just beneficial plant in D and E too, for now. Just write beneficial plant. We can look at what that might be. Add a question mark. Where? Here? Yeah, those two empty ones, just write beneficial plant. No, I was doing that. You can just copy and paste, you don't have to type it a second time. Alright, go back to square one. This? Oh, garden. Yeah, garden one. Yeah. Bed one. So that's the three sisters on the left. That's already all kind of determined. <coughs> Pippin, saddle! Uh, Wait, so we're thinking about doing like spinach <coughs> in D and E. Three as well, Cassie. Wait, where do you find that one? I don't know that we want that many onions, to be honest. If we're going to do tomatoes, I suppose we can do tomatoes in D and E1. If we're going to just throw a plant in and see how it does, even though we're not starting from C. Right, tomato question mark there. Pippin, settle! Maybe we can do more carrots. We eat a lot of carrots. I mean, I guess you can't fit a lot in square foot, though. Yeah. And I'm kind of wary because I've done them in the past and I've had a lot of luck. Now, granted, these are a lot deeper beds than I've done in the past. Um, what else we got out there? Anything else to squeeze in? Or should we just do more carrots or more beneficial plants? Do we want to try some of the stuff that's easy to grow that we don't really eat so that we can try it like in smoothies? and? Just see how it goes. Like Swiss chard? Yeah. Swiss chard looks cool, even if we determine we yes. don't like it. They have really pretty leaves. Swiss chard. Let's do a square Swiss chard. If we don't like it, we don't like it. We don't grow it next year. Let's do a square. Mm -hmm. That'd be good to put it to me. It's supposed to be really healthy. Yeah, cool that is. Yeah, unfortunately. Plus it's got the color, which like... Oh yeah, these are the, cool. Yeah. I, hey, I already <laughs> opened it! The different colors, like, theoretically, are, like, healthy for you to try and get different colors into your diet, even through the vegetables. Oh, yeah. So, Cassie, write down a square. Cassie, Cassie, Cassie you're not supposed to be you're, you're, you're late. You claim tech woman. <laughs> so you don't get to be your researcher. Where? Here? Yeah, so it's short. Do we want it, like, just in the middle or something? Like, a little better? I don't know. I think we're doing too many plants. Maybe. I think we should try and 
Wait until we have like eight. What do you think? Is this like a good like rough plan to like start researching on? Yes. Are we missing anything? We have too much, too little of anything? No, flowers. We have two squares, have two squares devoted to beneficial plants currently. Question mark. Whatever those are. If we could turn one of those spinach spinach shy. Do <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. We could turn one of those spinaches into a beneficial plant. I'd rather turn well. Swiss chard into a beneficial plant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do you do two Swiss chard? Yeah, I can maybe Swiss chard. Yeah, just one Swiss chard because we know that we use spinach. That's kind well. of a test. Yeah, true. Only one square for something new. Yeah, but you may not like it. Do we want to try another like root thing that we don't normally eat, like a beet or a radish? We should do more carrots. I think we should do two squares. Yeah, do two carrots and one Swiss chard. Swiss chard in the middle. Oh, that was cool. Why don't you do the carrots? You want the carrots to kind of... I mean, we use spinach yeah, and carrots Yeah, don't, 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 put, don't put the carrots in the middle. You want those leaves to be able to get light. They don't necessarily, depending on the carrot, get... Switch the Swiss chard and the it's carrots. It's a because Swiss chard has big leaves. So I want the carrots what do you mean? next to each other. I'm going to put the carrots next to each other. That's okay. Alright, do we want to do any other, like a beet or a radish? What are you doing? Hey, I don't white. think so because we're already doing enough new plants that we haven't done before. Like what? Like Swiss chard. That's one. <laughs> um, we haven't done sunflowers before. Right, but we're not eating we those. I'm more mean from onions. the perspective of. I don't. I don't mean it from like growing. So, but like I'm thinking from like a flavor okay. perspective, like you're just going out and buying it in the grocery store is not going to tell us if we like it or we can make it work, right? It's going to be the stuff in your own garden that you decide, hey, I like the flavor of this, I can make it work. So I'd like if we can do two or three things we haven't really eaten before that we don't know if we'll like, just to determine if we can do a lot more of it next year. Are you going to figure out how to cook it or are you going to make me cook it? That's what that's you don't have to cook. You just eat it. I don't know. Swiss chard, you just <laughs> stick it in a smoothie. Yeah, Swiss chard is using well, smoothie. Well, obviously that's what we do with Swiss chard. I'm talking about. If we're going to do one onion, and I'm going to put it in the middle. No, you cannot put a tomato on the edge. Okay. Spray is going to look weird. Whatever. Also, do not grow tomatoes on your roof if you're going to. I think to you're not supposed to put onions next to tomatoes. If I remember correctly. There's something you're not supposed to put your onions next to. Anything you don't want me to put your tomatoes. Your strawberries. <laughs> Alright, so is this like good enough for us to start researching? I know uh, they're good next time. Oh, good. I forget what's not good. No, there's something that's not good. Either for the onions okay. next to you or the tomatoes. I can't remember. You don't which. like tomatoes though. You like ketchup, but you don't like tomatoes. Um, I don't go ketchup. You want to go ketchup? Well, you can turn the you turn tomatoes into ketchup. You make ketchup like out of tomatoes. So, so are we like good with this as like our rough draft plan yes. until we start researching? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cassie never put in beets or or, um, mm -hmm. or radishes. Because we already filled every square, and it sounded like you liked this plan. <laughs> okay. I don't want two tomato plants. No. Okay, so then but time wants a ketchup yeah. plate. What did you say? <laughs> so the extra tomatoes to turn into ketchup. We could just do tomatoes like in a pot or something. I'm just skeptical of doing tomatoes. Onions like, aren't supposed to be next to beans or peas. That's what it is. Okay, we're pretty far away. But they're 
Yeah. They provide mild pest discouragement, which helps. It's because they have that funny smell to them. Some other one. It's not like a bad smell, it's just a different smell. It's pretty far from these beans, I guess. Well, if you're in the rainforest, you have to eat or what? Mm -hmm. Radishes.